Hello, my name is Dasart Mascroft. I'm an instructor here at the Digital Wideband Repair Course at the Marine Corps Communications Electronics School, also known as Excess, in 29 Palms, California. Today I'm going to be going over the proper alignment of a low voltage power supply, also known as LVPS, inside the AN Track 170 radio system. There are two LVPSs inside of Track 170. There's the 4A3 and the 5A6. Each LVPS produces four voltages, which are annotated on the front panel. On the 4A3, from left to right, it produces negative 5.3, positive 5.3, negative 15, and positive 28 volts. The 5A6 produces 28 volts, positive 5.3 volts, positive 15 volts, and positive 28 volts. The information found in today's video can be found in the Marine Corps publication TM0865 Alpha-14-1, Volume 1, starting on page 6, TAC 164. Now once you have opened up your drawer and removed the top cover, you're going to see four large circuit cards. With respect to the front panel, those circuit cards are the bottom left circuit card corresponds to the first set of test jacks, top left circuit card corresponds to the second set of test jacks, the bottom right circuit card corresponds to the third set of test jacks. The top right circuit card corresponds to the fourth set of test jacks. Card locations are identical in the 5A6 since the drawers are the same. Today's alignments can be performed on the 5.3 volt CCA located in the 4A3. This alignment can also be performed on the other CCAs located in the 4A3 as well as the CCAs located in the 5A6 since they are similar in design. One special note is that the negative 5.3 volt and the positive 5.3 volt CCAs are identical with the exception of the output polarity. The same applies to the negative and positive 15 volt CCAs. When testing the output of the CCA with a negative voltage, when using the front panel, you're actually going to be reading a positive voltage, even though the card outputs a negative voltage. First thing you want to do when testing a card is using a multimeter, check the output of that card using the test jacks located on the front panel. When testing the output of a 5.3 volt CCA, you're going to be looking for something in the range of 5.14 to 5.46 volts. When checking the output of a 15 volt CCA, you're going to be looking for something in the range of 14.55 to 15.45 volts. When checking the output of a 28 volt CCA, you're going to be looking for something in the range of 27.16 to 28.84 volts. Now using our test scenario we have set up today, we're outputting a voltage of 5.13 volts, which is slightly out of tolerance. So if you have a card that's out of tolerance, what you're going to do is find R20 on the card. R20 is located in the same general area on all the CCAs located between your red and the green LED. You're going to try to adjust R20 to get that card within 1% of its rated output. For example, on a 5.3 volt CCA, you're going to be looking to get it to in the range of 5.25 to 5.35 volts. Our 5.3 volt card is outputting 5.13 volts, so using a jeweler screwdriver or a small type of alignment tool, you're going to want to adjust that resistor going in the correct direction to either raise or lower the voltage to get it within that 1% tolerance. So I've adjusted this CCA to output exactly 5.3 volts. After completing this procedure on one CCA, you would move on and perform it on other CCAs as required. After you've performed the alignments on all the CCAs, your LVPS will then be outputting the correct voltage throughout the track 170. 